Hello again. Uh, today, it's a very special Valentine's Day dinner. We are going to prepare uh, some boneless duck breasts with uh, some broccoli and a nice little orange sauce that is very similar to like what you would get in uh, orange chicken or a Chinese meal, kind of like that. It goes excellently with this uh, particular duck breast. Anyway, I'm going to cook it sous vide at 135 degrees for a little over an hour. Um, duck's great because it's one of the, the few poultries without uh, the salmonella virus, so you can actually, or bacteria rather, and uh, you, can, you can cook it uh, nice and medium rare and uh, it comes out excellent. I've done this before uh, with uh, a kind of a homemade sous vide machine and uh, came out wonderful and this time I'm going to use the real real deal and, and get that temperature exactly right at 135 degrees so anyway what you need is uh, some boneless uh, duck breasts skin on uh, the skin's excellent and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that here in a minute uh, you need some salt pepper and fresh thyme goes really well with the duck uh, so anyway what you want to do uh, initially with this uh, this uh, duck here is you just want to score the skin you know, I'm not really doing a great job uh, but you know, it'd be nice if I could hold this but uh, basically you just want to score the skin a little bit so when we fry it later uh, the skin doesn't shrivel up and, and, and get all uh, it just it shrivels up too much and this way if you score the duck skin it'll just kind of uh, cover the whole thing and, and be able to uh, be nice and crispy and fried over your whole piece so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna score these real quick and then I'm gonna show you the seasoning method so okay now as you can see I scored the duck breast skin uh, basically you don't want to try and cut into the meat uh, it's recommended that you don't do that I may have slipped once or twice but basically you just want to cut the skin Make it so it's nice and uh, you know just just evenly cut along the top. Uh, after this, what we're going to do then is uh, sprinkle some salt, just salt, on the skin side, and that'll make a little more sense later. But uh, basically, uh, yeah, we're just going to sprinkle the the uh, skin side of salt, and then uh, I'll show you what to do on the other side. Okay, so here's the other side of these beautiful duck breasts. Uh, what we're going to do is also salt this side just lightly. Just a little bit, you know, not too much. A little bit of black pepper. Not too much of that either. And then uh, I'm going to put a spoon bit of time on each one of these. Hang on a sec. Okay, so uh, there's an ample amount of fresh time covering each of these. Uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, pop them in the vacuum bag. Uh, basically I'm going to keep them all the same direction, uh, you know, time side up I guess. It doesn't really matter, uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to put these in the bag and show you what it looks like and then I'm going to put it in the sous vide machine. Okay, so here are the duck breasts in the vacuum bag. I'm going to uh, see what I've got. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, plop it in the bath for one hour and one hour and fifteen minutes since they're pretty good size so anyway I'll see you back in about an hour with the rest of the preparation it's very simple and uh, extremely delicious so stick with me with the duck we're gonna make uh, some delicious broccoli uh, broccoli is one of the easiest things I've ever made uh, all you gotta do is bring your a pot of boiling water to uh, a rolling boil and uh, you have your broccoli obviously rinsed and washed off and all you got to do is just cut the stems really really simple and uh, once all those are chopped off one uh, runaway, runaway broccoli 
Um, take these here and uh, dump them in the boiling water. And I uh, just put it in there for four minutes. Once four minutes is up, take it out and put it in a strainer. And uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to render the duck fat from the duck breasts and uh, season it and then uh, saute the broccoli in it when it's all done. So it's be nice and fatty, yummy goodness. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so here's the finished product. Well, not quite finished, but uh, finished sous vide or whatever the heck you call it. Take these out, remove the thyme twigs, uh, dry them off, and uh, while the broccoli was cooking, I, uh, I uh, basically have been heating up a non-stick pan with no oil in it uh, for at about medium heat. And uh, what we're going to do here in a minute is uh, we're going to crisp this duck fat uh, on the skin side. And uh, what that's going to do is create a nice, juicy, delicious uh, fat for us to render. And then we're going to use the uh, fat from that to uh, saute our broccoli. But uh, basically, we're going we're gonna to crisp the skin for five minutes uh, after I dry all this off. Uh, in a, like I said, in a nonstick frying pan at uh, medium to high heat. And uh, basically, it's going to give it a beautiful golden brown color. And I'll show you that here in a second. So um, bear with me, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so in addition to drying it off, I'm also going to apply a little bit more salt to the skin side only and uh, that'll make our duck fat nice and salty and delicious so the, the broccoli will be well seasoned um, gives it a nice flavor so anyway, off to the frying pan we go okay so we're gonna fry the skin side down for five minutes you can hear already the that's a popping. Uh, it's going to basically oil itself here. So, last one. Okay, so I'll show you in a few minutes what it looks like when we, what it should look like when we turn it over. Okay, we're approximately two minutes and 30 seconds into the browning phase. You can already see how much. Uh, Duck fat is being created. Um, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. It's just a glorious sight. But, uh, we'll have plenty of oil to uh, saute our delicious green broccoli in. Okay, so five minutes is up. We're going to cook the non skin side for one minute. And as you can see here, the beautifully crispy duck skin. And uh, basically we're going to cook it on this side for a whole one minute. And then we're done. And afterwards we're going to saute our broccoli and then I'll prepare the plate for you. Okay, we are done. Look at all that good fat. Let's put them here and let them rest for a minute. Uh, it smells so delicious. Tell you what. Okay, now we're going to take this, this fat here, and we're going to dump our now dried out broccoli into it. Let that be some broccoli. Do this for a couple of minutes. You just need to coat it since it's already cooked well. This will make an excellent, colorful side for the uh, for the duck. You can see the broccoli is almost just soaking this stuff up. 
that's almost non-existent here. So we're going to just leave that there for a couple minutes, toss it a few times. I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of salt for seasoning purposes. And that's our side. So I'm going to show you the final preparation of this duck. I'm going to cut it open and show you how it looks inside. And uh, that'll be it. All right, so here's the final product. You cut it nice. And uh, nice and thick if you want. Keeps it nice and warm, but uh, if you can see there, that's a perfect medium rare duck. And as I was saying before, duck is uh, one of the only poultries that doesn't carry the salmonella bacteria. So everything is fine and dandy and safe, and this is not raw by any means. So don't need to worry about that. This is perfectly cooked to its internal temperature of 135 degrees. Okay, so we have a plate here. It's going to... Uh, Arrange some duck in the middle of our broccoli. All fancy like. And uh, I have my orange orange chicken sauce, I'm going to call it, even though I'm using it for duck. Uh, it's really spicy and sweet and fantastic. And all you got to do is just drizzle a little bit on. And it adds a tremendous Tremendous flavor. Okay, so there you have it. Sous vide duck and duck fed sauteed broccoli. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you like it. Alright, here's the real deal. Real angle. Looks great, right? <laughs>